So, this is a piece of what I recall being called, I think it was pronounced something close to soda bread. And Dan's mom gave it to us. during today's visit of Dad's parents, which took place at roughly noon time. This was following a trip For me to get a haircut at a barber that dad knows pretty well. Both yesterday and today I listened to the first three stages of I think it's called Everywhere at the End of Time which is the ideal stages to choose from if you want to use Part of it is music. Though if you're going to do that, I recommend giving credit. Not only because it's likely copyrighted. The music found in Everywhere at the end of time is roughly 1930s age. I found all these sampled music to be Pretty good. I got the this new set of markers as well as the new styrofoam blocks. Which allowed me to finish this piece. After. That visit to. Dad's parents. during which I showed the newest styrofoam drawings I had made as well as some from 2013 and at the end Grandma Dearest which is the nickname 
she had me create for her by at some point having me call her that. Gave that piece of soda bread and uh, some cookies. And I believe I'm going to have later tonight with a glass of milk. Uh, which uh, which I ha ended up having with half of a Burger King cheeseburger and a Burger King Whopper. <laughs> that literally cut those two sandwiches in half. I think possibly while they were still in there wrapping somehow. I believe he used a knife to cut those sandwiches in half. But then again, how did he cut the wrapping paper so cleanly? That session was a Burger King from around 4 to 5 p.m. if I'm remembering correctly, and it's 8.30 p.m. now. Thankfully, I avoided falling asleep. And missing dinner again today. Though I think it was close. I was listening to... The, I was listening to, um... Track B2 of Everywhere at the End of Time. All That Follows is True. I found a YouTube video that isolates just that track. I'm currently trying to think of what track from Everywhere at the End of Time to use for... That, uh, the, the upcoming hotel, I mean, hospital scene in the 99th Dan Hamming episode. The later stages of 4, 5, and 6 are pretty much just random bits of noise. From my own experience in listening to the entirety of Everywhere at the End of Time, up to right before the Helium double hockey stick sirens, as they're called by the community. Some parts of the, of at least the third stage are Just tracks from stage one, only more distorted. And if I recall correctly, stage two is pretty much the same thing, only obviously on a less 
extreme scale. Uh, though, although today I have heard snippets of stage five and six from videos people made involving that huge album, including one titled uh, Binky Listens to Everything at the End of Time, Stages 1 through 6. Uh, pretty much all I've been doing is, um, doing some work on the 99th and hamming. Uh, excuse me, while also par paving dwarven streets for my city on Elvenar. The next art film block drawing I do may feature, it may either be another one of those black masked people with shades or possibly also Someone with a mask resembling something based off of the cover art for stage six of everything at the end of time. Or everywhere at the end of time, sorry. I have no idea how close I am to the hospital scene, but I'm managing to push through it. I have confirmed that I have at least one black sharpie. It's still decently wet. So, should I go the route of making one more masked star from drawing, which uh, I'm likely to do, is that maybe the only way people will recognize that there's actual people behind the sick babe character Since in that scene that's currently a blank canvas, I plan on making an image in another Beyond video that I'm then going to proceed to blur considerably. That might be the only way people will recognize that. There's actual people behind that image. I had a glass of milk during that second session 
a Burger King from it was it took place anywhere from four to five p.m. and and that was the time in which I reminded Dad of. the cookies as they were intended to be saved for later exactly as intended not to go over and eat them immediately upon them being given and what made me think of that my dad's spontaneous decision to give me a glass of milk. During that second round of Burger King. The first round took place around, I would say, 2.15 p.m. Involved uh, roughly two things of small french fries, a full cheeseburger, and a full Whopper from Burger King with a small glass bowl full of ketchup. Actually, no, I don't think it was glass. Well, it didn't look like glass, but it may have been pretty close to it. Based on what I recall. At some point around noon, right before we left, during which, um, let's see, we went out for that haircut, went to see Dad's parents, went to see Mom, uh, excuse me, during which I was able to take pictures of the missing members of the Scooby Gang collection I did for my mom for Christmas. In particular, I today took a picture of the Scooby Styrofoam and the Daphne Styrofoam. So this is where we currently are in the Fellowship Adventures. There's no risk of displaying anyone else's username unless you actually click on one of these nodes. It doesn't look terrific for us. I'm currently producing advanced tools. I think I might, I have a golden bracelet. So I was just, okay. With each node we complete, we get closer for all of us potentially getting a carding library. My old one that I got, I think, two Fellowship Adventures ago, fuzzled out and ran out of power just recently. You're still filming? Yep. <laughs> How is it? 
Mm-hmm. It's delicious. All right. Well, I'll have milk and cookies when you're done. All right. Hey, you'll remember how you fell asleep at roughly 5 p.m. and I showed you yeah. that styrofoam? Yep. Yeah. Made it at 5.18. 5.18 p.m. Yep. We all get tired every once in a while, right, Ty? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> all right, buddy. I, I uh, drew it out with Sharpie marker I while I was listening to uh, everything at the end of time. Nice. Which I started playing during that car trip for us to go and get our haircuts right. with that 1980s, I mean, 1930s ballroom yeah. music. Nice. But you uh, said that you got uh, got uh, sick of it after only lasting roughly one song called um, It's Just a Burning Memory. Yeah, I, I mean, I can listen to it again, but not while I'm driving. While I'm sleeping, when I, when I fall asleep, I can listen to it. Uh, yeah, it's it's something uh, you you can technically fall asleep while listening to it. Right. Uh, though if you do that, there's a chance that you could uh, wake up. You could wake up during one of the later stages of the song when it's of the whole album when it's basically just random bits of noise. I haven't personally gotten to any part like that, but. I have listened to uh, stages one, two, and three. How many stages are there? Eight? There are six stages. Oh, six? Okay. Yeah. All right, buddy. Enjoy. Thanks. What did we do today? I uh, went and got a haircut. Went and saw my parents. Came back here. Cooked. Ate. Had some burgers. Went to Burger King, right? Yeah, we went to Burger King because you had that coupon. good deal family bundle coupon. Right. Which came with three burgers, three Whoppers, three small fries. I know, that's pretty good. All right, buddy. Can you please open this splash water bottle? I can't do it with one hand. Nope. I didn't open it earlier because I right, have a tendency to get, get a bit iffy. When it comes to liquids. All right, put it up, put it on the table, and then you can take the top off. All right, buddy, I'll be back. Thank you. What are you doing? Just watching TV. Okay, enjoy the show. All right. And I'll thanks for... Uh, There's basketball on. There's a show I already seen. I got a channel search. Okay, thanks for the stop to Mom's Place for us to get some styrofoams. You're I distinctly remember how at during the early parts of the day, I think it was uh, starting at six in the morning, Dad made me some coffee. And I think, uh, we had some, I think I might have had something to eat, but also, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure on that detail, at least not for the time being. Hmm. Though I do remember during that phase of today, <laughs> I spent uh, some time looking for my phone before I ultimately fell asleep. I think at 3 in the morning, because I fell asleep, I slept for dinner yesterday, last night. Woke up at 3 in the morning, had a 
Bogle crust pizza with pepperoni and black olives. I would have had it at roughly 10 p.m. yesterday, but I slept through it. How was the soda bread, Ty? Soda bread? Yeah, my mom, grandmother made it. Grandmother, grandma made it. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> you mean your mother? Yeah, your grandmother, my mother. Yeah. It's Irish soda bread. Well, how do you make that? You would have to ask her. I, I, I don't know, Ty. There's raisins, flour, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and probably soda water. I noticed you put some butter on it. Yeah. <laughs> that it's kind of a dry bread, so you need some kind of butter with it. Hey, I remember that you made me some coffee at roughly 9, right? <laughs> when? In the morning? Yeah. Yeah. Did you give me any food with it? I know that you went to Starbucks. Oh, no, I didn't get any Starbucks. No. Hmm. I recall asking... I rec smoothie. Yeah, asking to see if you, they, they had a... Smoothie. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I don't know if I gave you anything in the morning. No, you I just... I, I think you just gave me some coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I remember how, uh, every time we went to Starbucks, you would always get me a smoothie. Yeah, but you're, you were young then. You'd rather have smoothies than coffee. Hmm. Now you might want coffee. All right, buddy. Love ya. And uh, here's some of the aforementioned cookies along with a glass of milk. I believe these are basically the equivalent of vanilla Oreos. In a sort of way. Today in particular, I crafted this Stonehenge item, and it gave me a 19 vision vapor, which is a pretty incredible amount, but... I knew that I had quite a few combining catalysts burning a hole in my pocket, essentially. <laughs> <laughs>